Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to monitor your Windows 11 using the Task Manager. So let's say you're having performance issue in Windows 11 and you want to actually see what is actually causing your Windows 11 to slow down and what is actually making Windows not to respond. How do, I, how do you actually terminate a program that is not responding? So if you could remember in Windows 10, if I right click on my taskbar, I have the option to actually go to my task manager. But in Windows 11, that is actually not the case at the moment. So but if I, here you can see I have my start, my start menu. So if I just click on my start menu here, I can just search my task for the task manager. You can see we have the task manager, but I can right click on my start menu and you can see we have the task manager here so but if you think you use the task manager often what you can actually do is the following so let me just go to my search and here i can just tap the task manager and we can actually pin this to our task bar so if i click pin to task bar you can see we have the task manager here available so what i need to do is right now just click on the task manager so by clicking on the task manager let me just expand this so we can have a general overview of what we are Doing. Here you can see all the pro different programs which are actually running on my device at this moment. You can see I have a lot of programs. Despite the fact I'm using a virtual machine, you can see I have a lot of programs which is actually running behind the scene, which I'm not seeing. At this moment, I don't even have any program open at this moment. So, but if I look at here, you can see we have the consumptions of the CPU, that is the central processing unit, I have the memory, I have the disk, network, the power usage, and the power usage. Uh, let me just open this trend. So here we have the CPU, for example. You can see, you can see uh, the, it actually gives us in percentage what, like for example, the task manager. You can see this is actually opened. So it's consuming about 5.3 between 5.3, 4.9 percentage of my CPU. And here you can see we have our Windows Explorer. But mind you, if I let me just try to do the following. Let me, let me go to MS Info. Let me just tap MS Info 32. And let me just go to system information on our system information you can see that i'm actually i've actually installed a physical memory of about eight gigabytes for this windows 11. so at this moment i have available physical memory of about 4.38 gigabytes and total virtual memory about 9.25 gigabytes so you can see that i'm using a virtual machine as a vmware professional workstation professional to actually do this training so here you can see the memory usage the disk usage the network usage um, so if i try to open let me just open file explorer and then open let me also open edge you can see what happened you can see the power usage also increased to high you can see high and then very high moderate high so it just actually increase. you can see my cpu just rise from to about 100 percent when i actually open edge and now it goes he's trying to go down again back again to like 90 percent and you can see the memory usage is about i think about it still is below 50 50 percent and you can see right now before that this was about zero percent and now you see we have the disk of about one percent and also if i go to performance here you can see we have here we can see we have a general overview so under the internet you can see when i open internet explorer this is what happened you can see how my internet just goes up and it comes down again so if i open this and i close this back you can see what happened that my internet just skyrock and then it goes down again so the same thing with my cpu you can see the cpu here we can monitor the usage of the central processing unit and also we have our memory here you can see my memory is actually stable just about 49 percent and my disk is actually at zero percent i think that is good it's stable and you can see i have different disk here so right now also if i go to my app history you can see at this moment i don't have any okay i say okay i have some app history it just takes some time to load so here you can see we have the app history you can see all the um, download i've done the upload you can see the method the network bandwidth it has been using it's about like for the first one about 35.4 megabytes so here i can let me just try to filter this you can see we have all the different bandwidth i've been using so the cpu time and the method network i don't have any method network for this because i'm using actually a network cable here we have our startup programs you can see these are the programs that actually start with this device sometimes some programs actually if you allow too much program to start with your device it can actually make your device very very 
slow so we can actually disable some program for example i can say where spotify is disabled um the skype i don't use skype we need to create the green shot so we can leave that on the keepers i can actually decide to disable the keepers because I, I don't use it often and here we have the microsoft teams i can actually disable microsoft teams but if you use microsoft teams often i would advise you not to actually disable the microsoft teams and here you can see we have actually the users who have logged onto this device so this is me kelvin you can see all the applications which already have been opened with my name so if you have like for example if someone else have logged onto this device you're going to see the person's names here and also we also have the option to actually disconnect that user if for example i log onto a device and i can see that some three or four users have been logged onto this device but they did not log off from that device we have the option to actually disconnect that users the user from this device and also if i go to details here you can see we have our details information of all the programs that are being that are running on my device and also if i go lastly to service you can see we have some service for example let me just you can see we have some service for example i can decide to actually just restart this I can start a service or i can actually a uh, service that i've already started like this service i can decide to stop it or i can restart the service so there are some services that you cannot restart if you don't have the right if you if you have not logged on as an administrator you may not have the right to actually restart that service if you try to restart the service you can you're going to get a, an error message which says you don't have the privilege or the right to actually restart that service so this is how you actually use a task manager to monitor your device for if you're having performance issue or if your device is very very slow here you can see that my cpu is actually now at 100 percent because this is actually a virtual machine not a physical device so sometimes the cpu can just skyrocket if you are doing so many things at the same time and you can see that's why my device is, at this moment is very slow because the cpu is at 100 percent you can see that the response time when i click a program you can see that it's not that fast compared to like when the cpu you can see i just the startup but it takes some time for it to start if i go back again to process you can see it's still about okay it's going going down and back again to about 62 and 34 percent thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video my name is kelvin johnson and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more it videos so if you think you have any question you're having issues with windows 11 microsoft intune windows server windows 10 you can always send me a personal email and i will respond to you as quick as possible sometimes because i have a full-time job i'm doing and i'm doing this as a part-time so i may actually respond late but you can also send me a personal email which will always gives me the opportunity to respond more quicker so i'm going to leave my email in the description of this video so if you send me a personal email i will respond to you more quicker than you just leave in a comment in the comment section of this video but you can always leave a comment if you have any comment or if you if you have any suggestion to also help some other people who are also watching this video and please don't forget to also subscribe to my uh, facebook uh, windows 11 group channel i just created so i just i created a group so because i want um all my viewers to actually join that group so if you, if you have any issues with windows 11 we can also share ideas together and try to resolve the problem so thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel once more for more it related videos thank you very much and hope to see you next time so just hit the subscribe button it doesn't cost you much bye